Freedom would never be possible in the Philippines without Andres Bonifacio, the man. The Supremo that started the Philippine Revolution against the Spaniards died unfortunately at the hands of his fellow men. The Tragic Death of Andres Bonifacio On the night of July 7, 1892, Andres, who was 29 at that time, founded the Katipunan, short for Kataas-taasang, Kagalang-galangang, Katipunan ng mga anak ng bayan. The main objective was freedom from Spain. He then ignited the Cry of Balintawak and Cry of Pugadlawin, wherein they tore the cedulas to spark the revolution. After several battles that he led thereafter, most of which were losses compared to Emilio Aguinaldo's forces were more successful and won control over towns. Political differences arose between the two as to who should be the president of the Katipunan, so they decided to solve it through the election. This was the turning point of Andres Bonifacio's life. Emilio Aguinaldo won the election, forcing Andres Bonifacio to step down from his position Andres refused to acknowledge the outcome of the convention and still continued to lead his own rebel group. Upon knowing the allegations of treason and sedition against Andres, Emilio Aguinaldo ordered his troops to capture Bonifacio. In April of 1897, Andres, who was peacefully resting at their camp, was surprised by the rampaging attack of Aguinaldo's men. Andres ordered his men not to fight back because they were their fellow Filipinos. The aftermath of the attack cost the life of Siriaco, who was gunned down shielding Andres from the bullets. Procopio was mauled, while Andres was shot in the arm and stabbed in the neck. The Bonifacio brothers, Andres and Procopio, were captured and were set for trial. Andres was carried in a hammock, heavily bleeding all the way to Naik for the trial. On May 1897, moments before the death of Andres and Procopio, Lazaro Macapagal, a military soldier was ordered to take Andres and Procopio to the hill of Tala in Malagondon, Cavite. Makapagal said in his narration that he was handling a package that was supposed to be opened once they reached the destination. Upon reaching the Tala hill in Malagondon, Makapagal quickly opened the package and later on passed it to the Bonifacio brothers. The package contains the execution letter. Makapagal, with a heavy heart, first ordered his men to kill Procopio in a different location as those of Andres. After the death of Procopio, Andres, who wore a white camisa de chino at that time, attempted to escape but failed to do so. While trying to escape, a soldier managed to catch up with him, fired at him from behind, causing him to lose his life. As what was recalled by Makapagal, the last words of Andres were, Patawari ninyo ako kapatid, which in English means, forgive me brother. Was he really guilty? because he said that? There were multiple allegations against him as to why he was sentenced to death. He burned the village and the church after people refused to give him provisions. Bonifacio's men stole carabaos. He misspent all the funds of the Katipunan. But yet again, these are all allegations with no sufficient evidence. If these were ever true, should he be given a chance like, one more chance? As the saying goes, innocent until proven guilty. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more mind-boggling historical videos like this.